Picture this. You're cruising down the highway in your semi-truck, and that unmistakable hum of the Caterpillar engine is purring under the hood. It's the kind of power that makes you feel invincible on the road, right? But what if I told you that one of the most iconic engine manufacturers in the world, Caterpillar, was banned from powering semi-trucks in the U.S.? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it's true. So why were CAT engines banned from U.S. semi-trucks? Was it a simple regulatory issue, or is there a deeper story behind it? Stick with me, because we're diving into the history and the real reasons behind this ban. And you might be surprised by what we find. Before we get to the ban, let's understand why Caterpillar engines queer were already once the go-to choice for many truckers. For decades, CAT engines were known for their raw power, durability, and ability to handle even the toughest loads. Their engines were found in some of the um, uh, most iconic American trucks, delivering that signature, oh, deep rumble, and unmatched reliability. CAT engines were considered the heart of heavy-duty trucking. From the Saan 3406 Kaminen to the Saan C-15, truckers loved their Fawninen torque, coming longevity, and, above all, the manpower to get the job done. But as we all know, the road ahead isn't always smooth. So, what went wrong? The answer lies in one word. Emissions. In the early 2000s, the U.S. government started tightening its grip on vehicle emissions, demanding that trucks reduce their environmental footprint. The goal? Cleaner air and lower pollution levels might across the country. And that's where Caterpillar engines I, hit a major roadblock while other manufacturers like Cummins and Detroit Diesel Hum quickly adapted to the new e EPA emission standards, and the Caterpillar struggled in to meet the more stringent rules. In 2003, the Environmental Protection Agency introduced a set of new regulations that required all diesel engines to reduce nitrogen oxide and particulate matter emissions. CAT had already invested millions into improving its engines, but their approach to meeting these standards didn't quite work out. The company's engines were powerful, but they were also fuel inefficient, and their emission systems weren't cutting it. They failed to deliver the eco-friendly performance. The EPA demanded, unlike their competitors. But here's the kicker. CAT made a bold decision. Instead of complying with the new regulations, they chose to exit the Yon Highway engine business. Altogether, halting production of engines for Yaprimrise semi-trucks in the U.S. in 2010. It wasn't that the engines weren't was Sunni good. They were exceptional. It was that they simply couldn't pass the new emission standards one without completely redesigning their entire lineup. A redesign would have required a huge investment. And in the end, Cat decided it wasn't worth it. So, why didn't Caterpillar just redesign their engines and get back in the game? The answer lies in a shifting industry landscape. By the time CAT made its exit from the on-highway engine market, other manufacturers had already established their dominance in the U.S. trucking scene. Cummins, Detroit Diesel, and others not only adapted to emissions changes, they also introduced new technologies that focused on a fuel efficiency, reduced downtime, and yum better overall performance. Cat's exit left a massive gap, but competitors jumped in to fill it. Meanwhile, the cost to get back into the game would have been astronomical. New engine designs, research, development, and meeting even stricter emission standards like those for carbon dioxide, CO2, would have meant spending billions. Cat had no choice but to leave the trucking market behind. 